Hello you guys. Um, I feel like I have not vlogged in ages. Um, my baby is now almost six and a half weeks. So basically I haven't vlogged in seven weeks. Um, but now that I feel like I'm pretty well adjusted to mom life and we're all settled in a new house, um, I wanna get back into vlogging regularly. So this, this first vlog is not well put together. It's really random. Um, it's just little clips of a few things that we've gotten up to since we've been here. Um, so I apologize about that. But the future vlogs will be more well put together. Um, but I still wanted to put this out there. Um, but yeah, so today when I'm filming this, it's, um, I think it's like August 8th or something. Um, but yeah, I just want to get back into vlogging <clears throat> now that things have kind of settled down in my life. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything, leave it in the comments. Or if you want links to anything, leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you guys. Um, Bella, no digging. My ugh, golden retriever just will not stop digging in the dirt here. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy the vlog. Um, I think my house tour video will go up before this because I didn't want you guys to see the house in this vlog first, but yeah, so go check out the house tour video if you haven't to see our new house. Um, but after this, things will be um, more in chronological order. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Also, forgot to mention, in case anybody's curious, um, my baby... Um, his name is Thomas. I named him after my husband's dad. Um, I call him Tommy. Probably I'll call him Tommy until he's like 12 or something. Um, but yeah, his name is Tommy. There he is. <laughs> um, like I said, he's about six and a half weeks now. His birthday is August 26th. So he was born Friday, August 26th, and then we got to... Arizona on well we closed on our house here in Scottsdale on Friday September 1st so I was gonna vlog the whole move and everything but it was honestly just too much so anyway we um, drove my husband's truck out here just a few days after Tommy was born with both of the dogs um, so it was a lot <laughs> and we had no furniture I bought all new furniture so anyway I just wanted to say that there you go. Um, so yeah, it was a hectic time. That's why I didn't vlog at all. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we'll get into the video now. <laughs> you guys, I just watched that clip back and it is not August 8th. It's October 8th. Um, I just wanted to clarify because I know I haven't vlogged in ages and then these first couple of vlogs I'm putting out are not in chronological order. So I just want to clarify when I'm filming this right now. It's October 8th.
show you what I'm making for breakfast today. Um, I just had my coffee, of course. I have this little pumpkin candle going that I got from TJ Maxx. Um, but I saw this recipe on Instagram, so it's just kind of like a slow cooker oatmeal. So I have one cup oats, two cups unsweetened almond milk, or you can use oat milk, um, two bananas, cinnamon, nutmeg, um, vanilla, and maple syrup. It also calls for walnuts, which I would like, except I don't have any, so <laughs> I'm doing no walnuts. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put this all together, put it in this mini crock pot. This is from Target, by the way. This is the hearth and hand one. Um, and put it on high for an hour to an hour and a half. Okay, I had it on high for an hour and a half, and this is what it looks like. Um, this is the perfect consistency to me, but it also said you could do high for an hour, and it was more runny, um, so if you like it like that, then I would just do it for less time, but this was an hour and a half on high. First time at Target. Mm. We are heading to Buzz to get a copy. Shout out to Baby Hey, I saw this on her Instagram the other day. And then we're gonna go to Crate and Barrel and pick up our dining table. what I got from Crate and Barrel. I just got a couple of things. Um, I got four of these colander kind of things. I don't know. They're to put fruit in and put them in the fridge just so that they look cute. Um, and they're kind of like this creamy off-white color. Um, yeah, they're called Berry Box Colanders. Um, so I got four of these. So those are cute. <laughs> and then I also got this massive um, 
cutting board. I'm not using it as a cutting board. It's more of like a serving board, but I kind of just want it to sit on the table for decoration. Um, so I'll show you guys what I'm thinking. So here's the dining table. And I'm thinking I just want it for decor. Like I'll put it somewhere in the center and then I have this little candle. This is from Amazon. Put my little candle on here and I got these Traverstein um, coasters also from Amazon. I don't know. <laughs> um, but let me know what you think or what else I could put on here. But just wanted a little something but yeah, I'm really happy. I think I'm really happy with how it looks. Let me know what you guys think though. I don't know about my serving board situation. I did Whole Foods pickup, which is actually the first time I've done that, but we also went in just to get some sushi for lunch. Okay, so after Whole Foods, I just went to the grocery store that's just up the road from our house because I like to buy my meat there and then I find that potatoes are just cheaper there. So I just got these two, um, savory herb and garlic herb. Um, and then I got some chicken and sweet potatoes. And then everything else is from Whole Foods. So I just got these when we ran in for the sushi. Um, dark chocolate coconut bars. Um, I haven't tried those before but I thought they looked good. And then I just got some oranges, lemons, avocados, bananas, asparagus and Brussels sprouts for dinner. 
um, pita chips and this lemon hummus. I love this one. Um, I got this egg salad. It's actually not egg, it's chickpeas, but it's really good. Um, and then I got some turkey breast and some salmon. Um, I'm gonna make paninis either tonight or tomorrow. So I got the turkey breast for that, and then I got this pesto and these roasted red peppers for the paninis. And then I also got this bread for them. Um, and then I got two packs of these whole grain wraps. I really like these um, for the egg salad and just sandwiches and stuff. I prefer to have the wraps rather than bread. And then I got these because they're my stepdaughter's favorite and she's coming to stay with us this weekend. Um, and then oat milk. And I just got three because I go through, I go through it so fast. Um, I have it every morning with my coffee. So I just got a few of those. And then, yeah, I wanna show you guys. Also with these wraps, I really like the um, tuna salad. Again, it's not actually tuna, it's chickpeas, but it's the same brand as the egg salad one. And those are really good with those wraps. So definitely recommend. And then for the paninis, I'm gonna put this um, pepper jack on them as well. But I'll probably show you guys that when I'm doing it. Um, anyway, that's all I got. Also, I don't think I've mentioned um, this cup yet. I got this on Amazon the other day. I know like everybody has this cup right now. I saw it on Instagram, <laughs> that's why I bought it. Um, but I love it, it's so big and it keeps my water cold all day, it keeps my ice cold all day, um, or my ice cold. It keeps my ice <laughs> as ice cubes all day. Um, but yeah, I really love it. So they have other colors too. There's like a cream color that I kind of want to buy. Okay, I got the panini press on Amazon. It was only like $40, I think. It's a Cuisinart. And I did avocado mayo on both of the outsides. And then pesto, roasted red pepper, um, turkey, and pepper jack cheese. And I think that's it. Okay, this looks so good. I'm so glad I bought a panini press.